Hello everyone, this will be a video documenting the restoration of a GRS Cadet Crossbuck Railroad Crossing sign. So about a month ago I dug three of these things out of a scrap pile from a bunch of crossing signals that had been removed about 25-ish years ago. And uh, as you can see, I have the three taken apart back here and they're in various conditions of disrepair. So you can see down here that this one got pretty mangled. Um, I'll attach a few photos that uh, give you an idea of just how bad these things looked when I got them. And then there's this one which kind of got bent in half but it's starting to look okay. Then there's this one. And so um, basically I took the three and I took the best pieces of each and as you can see I put the marbles back in this one. And uh, essentially what I'm going to be doing is using this one for an outdoor display. This one will be hanging here in the garage. And then I have a few buddies that need some parts, so that one will be up for grabs to them. And so um, this right here is the back plate and main body for a Cadillac crossbuck sign. So those of you who may not know, um, a cat eye sign, or at least the railroad ones, were two pieces. And so the front piece, which has the porcelain letters and the reflectors, sits over this metal back plate and essentially protects the reflectors and uh, gives it durability and whatnot. And so um, with this one, it's pretty apparent that it has seen better days and so what I've done is done a little back bracing here and when this is done it'll keep the back plate all uh, nice and straight and flat and so originally when these things were first made as you can see they had some tack welds on the pan to this piece of steel that goes across the back and this is also where the brackets mount that would attach the sign to the pole so I drilled three holes and this will just fit right over that and it will bolt up and hold it nicely so here's the mass that I'll be using to mount the cross buck on as you can see I have a uh, New York Central Finial, I think it's GRS. Those were used on New York Central Crossing signals for the four and a half inch diameter pipe. And then this mast here was a, uh, I believe, a, just a cable support. It had a uh, eyelet up here with a cable hung off of it, and it would have held wires and whatnot. So I have a bunch of these, and so I figure we'll use one for the. Uh, cat eye sign and then down here of course we have the u-bolts that will hold the sign on to the mast so over here um, we have the three pieces of course a railroad crossing and those will fit over these and complete the sign so over here is where the cross buck will be going the mast will be almost perfectly in line with that bush right there and the reason why I have it so far over is because there'll be three tall signals going in right here and I also think it'll balance out nicely with the cross buck that's on the crossing signal over there and so uh, next is just to uh, dig the hole do the pour set the bolts let it dry for a bit and then uh, should be ready to mount it also should be pretty easy because we don't have to run any conduit and I don't have to deal with that during the pour. So it should go pretty quick and we'll show you when it's done. Alrighty, so now we have everything outside here and we'll uh, clean it up with the angle grinder with a cup brush on it. And we'll uh, give it some primer and put it all together. And you can also see down here the uh, carcasses for the other cross box. So we'll uh, get
get this done and move on from there. Come to me 